Well, now I got another channel review. This time it's for Ryan Animates. So here we are looking at this channel. We see the banner, the icon, and his different videos. Now, this is all the videos that he's got so far. That's okay, because that's how it works. That's how you get started. You start by uploading different videos. Now, we're going to first take a look at his banner. Um, I think for the most part, this is a good banner for one reason, particularly, and I've discussed this a lot, is not making it too noisy or too complicated. Obviously, he succeeded in that. Um, but as far as how simple it is, it does look like he just painted it real quick. For now, that's fine. Uh, my suggestion is in the future, when the time is right and you're ready, is to come up with a banner that looks a little bit more professional, a bit better. Um, and I think you're quite capable because I'm seeing from these thumbnails that you have something that's very good and eye-catching. Something as simple as putting this guy right here, and then maybe your name, just like you have here, that would look great. And I think that'd be an update to your banner, and it wouldn't be too noisy either. And while we're on the subject of that, let's take a look at these thumbnails, um, especially this one right here, I think is a good example of a good looking thumbnail. Got this guy right here, he looks good, he's pointing to the name so you know what it is. The thumbnail is not too complicated, it does look professional, and overall I think this is a good looking thumbnail. And the future, what you might consider changing, I'm not sure, um, there's some possibilities, things that might be helpful, yeah, it's just something you have to experiment with, is maybe putting a board around the thumbnail. Um, that's only a maybe. A lot of times borders actually hurt the thumbnails. So that, that's why I say that's a maybe. Some other things though is sometimes something like putting like a green check mark right there. Something as silly as that or simple as that can actually be quite helpful. Um, but otherwise, the, the truth is, is he does thumbnails well. These are good looking thumbnails. I like them a lot. Let's go now to look at his icon. I think, uh, <laughs> this is really funny. I, I, this, I'm just laughing at this because I think it's funny how he did that. I'm laughing at it in a good way. I mean, I, I kind of like it, actually. Um, as far as having that there, though, for a good thumbnail, I'm not sure. I feel like I don't have enough professionalism or ex expertise to say if that's good or bad. Um, in the future, maybe it'd be better to remove that and just have the character there. But otherwise, you know, it's a pretty good icon. As far as the name goes, good. Not too much, not too complicated. We know what he is or what he does. I say that's a good name. Let's go look at your About tab. Looks like you filled it out pretty well, well enough. Um, and right away, you did, at the very beginning of your description, you describe what your channel about and who you are. And these two words are in your channel name. That's important to have keywords near the top of your description like he has here. So he did that well. I don't know if he knew he was doing that with keywords, but he did it, so he's smart. Um, the only other option is maybe fill out your description a little bit more. Um, maybe like a few links to other things you do online, with, whether it be projects or websites, if you do those things. Well, otherwise, that's pretty good. He's got his friends listed here at the side. Very good. A lot of people don't do that, but he does. This is an important lesson for everybody, is to make sure you have something here where it's linked to your other channels or just to your friends. Something as simple as this makes you look like a more fulfilled channel and someone who takes the channel more seriously and does more professional work. So that's a very good thing to have. It's got social media links here. If you have more, you might want to consider putting them there. Um, otherwise, it's pretty good. And looking at the videos, as far as quantity, um, obviously, this is something you'll have to keep working on. You're going to need a lot more videos, that's for sure. It depends on what time you have and what you're capable of doing. And, you know, this is your channel. You know, it's, it's about what you want to do and have fun. But, you know, something like people like us who are subscribed, we like to watch your videos. So, definitely consider adding more so we can keep watching more. Come back to his home page. He does have it a little bit more filled out than what a lot of new, tuber, new YouTubers do. Lots of times they only have one little list that just says uploads or popular uploads. But he's got this little one right here so it says newest video so you can see that right away. And that's good. And as he progresses and he starts to add more playlists to his videos and that's important to put your videos in playlists and organize them so people can go through them quickly and use that so here on the front of your channel you can put the playlist right here so people, right when they come to the channel, they can see your content and they can see it organized right away so they know what you do and they can find the type of video they like really quickly. And that's important. So that's kind of all I'm looking at on this channel. Um, 
um, I think we've reviewed it pretty well. If I were to give my two bits on what he needs most right now, I think the two things that he needs to do most, one, uh, work on a more professional banner, and two, more videos. And that's it, and um, I like his channel, that's why I'm subscribed, and I suggest all of you come to his channel and subscribe too. That's all. Thank you.